Overshadowing the race has been the coronavirus pandemic, which changed the way we voted this year. Millions choosing to vote by mail or cast their ballots early, but the polls were still packed today, as you just saw, with millions more deciding to kick it old school and vote in person. WGAL News H Jeremy Jenkins joins us live now with an update from the Pennsylvania Department of State. Well, Ron Janelle, Governor Wolf says we likely won't know the results this evening during his press conference here at the Farm Show Complex. He asked Pennsylvanians for patience while election staff all around the Commonwealth work to count those ballots. I pledge to you tonight that we will fight every effort, as we have in the past, every effort to disrupt the vote count. Free and fair elections are bedrock of our democracy and of this nation's history. During the press conference, the governor was joined by Secretary of State Kathy Bookvar, who spoke about election issues. She noted a few polling places open late while others had confusion over provisional ballots. Overall, though, she says the election went smoothly with no widespread issues to report. But earlier on News 8, we spoke to a number of voters who complained about long lines in parts of the Susquehanna Valley. We spoke to the secretary about that, and this is what she had to say. I did not hear of any five-hour lines, so it wasn't reported to us any five hour lines by voters or by the county. So I'm not sure if that's an accurate representation or if that might be misinformation. Now, both officials say the priority here is to get an accurate count as quickly as possible. They will be providing another update here in the Farm Show Complex within the next hour. We'll have those details live for you on News 8 at 11. Live in the Farm Show Complex, I'm Jeremy Jenkins. For now, I'll send it back to you.